Hey, yo guys, your favorite Kage, Enigma Kage, bringing you yet another video. We're back at it again. It's episode four of Enigma 7 series. Guys, last week, we had a lot of good comments down below. Interaction, I love that. That pushed the video out more, so I would love to see more interaction this video as I did last video. And the best thing about this video is I'm also using Fine Fine's microphone, but other than that, guys it's going to be controversial because i know i'm going to miss a couple names i'm going to miss a couple moments and that's all well and good because i love the fact that i may miss something and you guys are going to pick up on it and tell me what i miss so maybe next time i might make a part two of whatever said thing okay so now if you're new to the channel welcome my name is nick mikage i'm an anime analyst jump force analyst whatever you want to call me anime related i hope you stick around and subscribe today and guys in this episode we're going to strictly go after a hero's welcome what is a hero's welcome you ask right it's the moment when a protagonist or a key character has their epic moment of either saving a rival or whatever it may take i have seven epic hero welcomes in anime depending on how this goes like the comments if i missed some really really key ones from maybe anime I have not seen, please let me know and I'll make a part two, maybe next week or the week after, depending on how this video goes, guys. Can I get an early like, guys, because it helps the video out, helps the channel out, all that good stuff. Yes, I even wore my hair out today. You know it's real. Let's go. I start at number seven, Zoro versus Ryuma, the samurai from Thriller Bark Arc. Now, guys, if you watch that arc, I'm not trying to, now mind you, this episode might have slight spoilers. Just slight. I'm going to make sure I keep it real, real slight. Just in case you guys haven't seen these moments and you still want to get that epic pop. So, number seven, we're going off with Zoro. Zoro and Ryuma. Ryuma is a legendary samurai from the Wano village. And at this point in the show, you're watching him thrash Brook. Brook's getting his behind whipped. Zoro, Luffy, nobody's in the radar to save this man. You just knew all hope was lost. And then suddenly, you have Zoro and you have Frankie in the picture to run down a hallway. And you're hoping and praying, please be the same hallway as Brook. Because Brook is getting thrashed. The samurai was too much for Brook. He had no chance of even competing against this man. Luckily, Zoro comes in for the sea. Ching, swords clash, and what, of course, the epic music playing in the background. Which, I love this fight because this fight was epic. Not only that, this is when Zoro gets his sword, Sushui, from the samurai in an epic fashion. After two swords clash, he passed on the sword that we know today, the black and red sword, Sushui. Number six, you gotta go with Vegeta, Android 19. Everybody loves Android 19, Vegeta fight. Not only because Vegeta really got his moment, finally, it's that he really pummeled Android 19. Android 19 and 20 comes down from the future, all that trash talking and exploding stuff. Android 19 even was creaming Goku, draining his power. And you're like, oh my gosh, who's going to save Goku? Blow! Where the kick right to the face, there goes Vegeta. And then, of course, Android 19 is all cocky because he already beat down on one saying, too much cockiness ain't good for you, Android 19. Because Vegeta started thrashing this man. Vegeta does not want to see anybody kill Goku except him. That pleasure is reserved just for him. Guys, it's not how everybody's Dragon Ball list, but for me, I love the moment. It was special. Vegeta finally gets a moment. Vegeta's always second fiddle in the show. And I never liked that about Toriyama when it comes to Vegeta. I think Vegeta should have had at least way more epic moments in Dragon Ball history than that. The second runner I would have put for Vegeta when he showed up for Bojack movie. Other than that, Vegeta Android 19 is number six on my list. Number five, UP versus Knuckles. Kilowatt's epic save. Now, UP is one of my favorite Chimera ants in the show, and I wish he had way more moments, but I think they did him real good. Now, Knuckles was that badass delinquent type character with the Pompadou and all that stuff. I love Knuckles, but he was way over his head in this fight against UP, and you just knew it. He was done for. Even Knuckles himself knew he was dead. All of a sudden, crashing down with the Thunderbolt cry, here comes Killua. Killua versus UP is one of the most underrated fights in Hunter x Hunter history. And I love the fact that he came in for the save. Knuckles admitted defeat. And Killua looked badass as he's going. It's the first time you've ever seen Killua go into his uh, Godspeed mode as well. So definitely look that up and get yourself a good show. Number four, 
Ichigo saves Rukia. This is one of the best, most epic Bleach moments ever. Rukia is about to be executed and Ichigo shows up out of nowhere. He wants all that smoke from the captains, co-captains. He didn't, it didn't matter to him. This man smashing Zanpak toes with his hand. He came there for business. He came there to save his friend. The only time Ichigo showed up like this in his badass fashion was to face Aizen in the final fight of that arc. Other than that, I have never seen Ichigo show up and look so good in my life. They even played the epic number one song in the background, man. It was good stuff. Ichigo Sage Rukia is my number four. Number three, I'm going with Mustang versus Lust. Can I actually say versus? Because it's more of like an execution. Because Lust, or should I say Solaris, you know, she double crossed Reza Hawkeye and Havoc and Alfonso there too. She come out and she tells everybody that I'm a homunculus, all that good stuff. I saw, like I said, guys, a slight spoiler. She reveals that she's homunculus. You know, all hope was lost until Roy Mustang shows up, badass moment, completely roasting her. Mustang show up in great fashion, and to me, this is worthy of putting on the list. Number two, All Might returns to UA. Now we already know this moment. Is, is top three. Top three in My Hero Academia history. All Might shows up, things get calm, you know, that, that sense of we're, we're saved. And then we have an expiring All Might, mind you. He only has, he's on a timer. But we knew that if anybody had hope of winning, you had to go through All Might. It was no other way. He comes in and he had the nice walking animation. Boom, 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 boom. All Might comes to save class 1A. Everybody already knew they were doomed. He comes up in the show and says, you know what? It's all right, guys. I'm here. Everyone's safe. That moment put chills down my spine. I love that moment in my hero academia history. And number one, guys, I'm sorry. I have to put it as number one. If any anime fan that hasn't had this in a top five, they lack in. Number one, Naruto saves the village. You cannot like Naruto if you want. You cannot like the series, but you will put respect on that man name. Pain and his paths came into the village, destroying everything. Even was throwing hands with Kashi Sensei. Defeated everyone. Tsunade was no match. Nobody was no match at the time. It was too much chaos going on at one time. With the best moment, and I'm, I, I don't, I can't have the clip because I don't want to copyright. But the best moment is when Sakura cries out for Naruto. And all of a sudden, Naruto come crashing into the village. And he want all the smoke. He brought all the toads. It didn't matter. He came there for business. The hero has finally emerged. That's the best hero welcome moment I can ever think of. Naruto entering the village to take on an epic battle of pain. A lot of people didn't like the way the pain fight was animated. That's fine. That's another argument. But Naruto showing up to the village is, to me, the best anime hero's welcome moment. Ever. So if you like this video guys, don't forget to like, share, and comment below. Tell me moments that I missed that I should take a look out, maybe make a part two next week. As always guys, I'm Enigma Kage, signing off. Peace guys.